hot. Hello guys, so this is my new uh, devlog. Actually today I learned that I'm making uh, like three games simultaneous at the same time. Imagine that. So making uh, multiple games at the same time, it's the worst advice uh, you can get ever. Well, you know, uh, like every game dev uh, YouTuber says that you should like, really focus on the single thing and you should be like stoic. Oh, it's not the case uh, in my case. So today uh, we're gonna we're gonna burn some meat right here. We're gonna burn some meat and also also I'm gonna uh, tell you about uh, every game I'm making now. So Golden Light, also Mac Punk, and also Golden Dollar, <laughs> and also Cry Cry Baby. Cry Baby is the last one. Не переключайте. As you might know, uh, I'm not the best English uh, speaker and uh, like YouTube uh, indie game developer, so I kind of don't know uh, what to talk about. Well, uh, I mean, uh, it's it's kind of hard to construct uh, sentences. Uh, I'm gonna ask the AI, like, what should I talk to talk about? You see, the future is here. Well, I I'm gonna be using GPT Chat uh, to write the script for the video. Today, I'm excited to share some updates. On my latest game, Golden Light, Mac Punk, Golden Dollar, and Cry Baby. So, Golden Light. First up, Golden Light is an action adventure game that they. Ah, that is bullshit. That's not true. Confirm it. The artificial intelligence is uh, is very stupid. It's it's not helping at all. Network error. AI is useless. Golden Doll is puzzle adventure game that allows your young girl to quest. What? I think uh, we all agree that uh, artificial intelligence uh, not gonna replace us all anytime soon. So. Be safe. The problem is that my version of uh, the script of the video isn't gonna be any better. <laughs> So while we are burning the meat, let me tell you about the game about meat. Golden Light is uh, is, is still on Steam, all right, and uh, people still kind of play it uh, sometimes. So we put a free uh, f free version of Golden Light, uh, Golden Light of Rose. Yes. Yeah, so the Golden Light was the uh, the last success, last success I ever had in a game dev. Some call it success. Some call it success. And so there was an update for Golden Light uh, where I put a uh, link to MacPunk right in the main menu, right? People still don't fucking play MacPunk, you know? Because the game is, uh, it may seem just like a weird nonsense, but actually it has a lot of political satire and, uh, well, just personal experiences, you know? <laughs> Like as usual with all my games, I translate uh, personal uh, life experience to the game. We added fishing into a punk. So imagine it's 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 a space game, but you can uh, catch fish now. You can turn your your caught fishes into your private army. You know this is a, this is a somewhat political satire, I think. Let me get uh, more comfortable with my Gopnik uh, stance. God knows. It will be the first time. There's also a uh, golden dollar. So golden dollar is a really huge project, right? At the, at the start, it was just like a procedural, uh, fast-paced, uh, mission-based, hotline Miami type of thing, but with the uh, first-person uh, perspective and funny physics and such. Back in the days, I never found uh, what game I, golden dollar actually wants to be, so I put like. A lot of features into it. I put uh, like open world and destructible buildings that could collapse on your head if you're too reckless. It quickly became a feature creep. I shelved it for like a half, a half year, half a year, six months, right? Uh, the onion ran out. Yeah, ran out. Ran out. На землю. After. Um, not successful uh, Mac Punk release, early access release. I kind of decided to look at this. 
Is it ready yet? I, I decided to uh, continue Golden Dollar. I had no other option. I had some hopes for MacPunk and it didn't do very good. So, so that was the first time I jumped back into a project I worked like earlier. It was uh, a pretty interesting experience. I had to kind of uh, relearn re re it uh, in the beginning. Yeah, thank you. You know the English. Uh, English. The English, yes. You know the English. So there was uh, like really uh, quite a few iterations of uh, Golden Dollar. Uh, Golden Dollar was like a post-apocalyptic game, like a Fallout, but... Can you fucking shoot me? Dude, Golden Dollar was like a post-apocalyptic game with uh, driving on cars and destructible buildings and shit. Hey, can you sh... Can you shoot me? Now Golden Dollar is like... Uh, do you remember that uh, bad movie? That bad movie you, you saw when you was a kid? The Water World? With the, the dude? This is like a, a world full of water, alright? And they ride around the boats and shit. So it's basically a video game adaptation of uh, Water World right, uh, right now. Also it's, it's it kind of crossed with uh, Wind Waker and Golden Light. And uh, it's really cool. So you're driving on a water, on a, on a motorbike, like a biker pirate on a water, all right? And you have a shotgun. There's a lot of other folks who ride the, the waves with you, all right? Uh, the Keanu Reeves wannabe. <laughs> Excuse me, I just ate some meat, so I feel uh, lazy and sleepy, but anyway, I'm gonna continue uh, telling you about Golden Dollar, so imagine, imagine this. It's, it's a huge ocean, right? And there's, uh, there's giant people, giant ancient people made of uh, meat and skin and uh, bones, right? And so different parts of those people, like hands and uh, arms and uh, palms and... Uh, is there a fingers a dick and balls with with butt dick butt and so those uh, giant parts are like islands in a pirate game all right and there's buildings uh, on those uh, on those uh, giant human parts so those uh, like levels are all destructible because it's it's skin and it's giant meat all right and you can destruct yeah so you're just sailing around just you destroying shit and um, the story is uh, like uh, you, you're in love right you're in love but your girl doesn't love you because she can love only the best one only the best shooter on only the best shooter of the desert it's from the alejandro yodorovsky movie uh, el topo oh, it's a great movie it's a great film great watch take 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 a look so yeah that, that's basically it you you're trying to convince your girl that you are the best motherfucker out there all right we have a roof here take a look Take a closer look. Take a closer look at the roof. At the roof, man. Damn, man, look at the roof. So finally, finally we have Cry Baby. It's a game, it's a game I, I, I was working on uh, during the past year. That shitty, disgusting year we all had. It's a, it's a walking dog simulator type of game. It's inspired by uh, like many JRPGs. You're a little girl, you're a war refugee in an unknown country where people are talking in different language and you don't know that language and you have you only your huge giant dog. All right. You have to pet him, you have to feed him, you have to keep him quelch, quelch, when you're not thirsty. You have to keep him not thirsty, all right? And it's it's like you're moving around, you're fighting around, and the, the dog is, is, is a guide dog, all right? So the main, main heroine, uh, the girl, she has some like weird uh, psycho problems. She cannot remember things, she cannot remember places. Every level is procedurally generated, of course, because I, I don't know how to do manual level design. So hey. procedural generation is my thing. So imagine the rooms in the game are shuffled all the time. You walk uh, in and out of the room. So you have. So <laughs> 
So you have your like home already. You're walking out. You're walking back in, and it's all di different. It's it's a kind of different home with different props. And so your dog is like, hey, Bobo, 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 Bobo. This is this is this is your dog helping you, and he. He can lead the way to the exit from the dungeon, all right? Uh, the levels in Crybaby has this binding of Isaac uh, dungeon structure, all right? It has like different branches, and so every branch has a different uh, biome. It's 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 all very interesting, and so we've been making the game uh, for a few months, and then uh, I shelved it uh, too. Because I was busy with Macpunk and stuff, but Macpunk... Uh, you you don't play Macpunk. It's 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 your fault. It's not mine fault. It's not the game's fault. All right. So yeah, go play Macpunk. Uh, wish list the all the games. <sighs> You're welcome on our Discord server and also please subscribe to the channel, this YouTube channel. All right. Me and my friend uh, we will we'll try to make just as crazy devlogs videos like this one. All right. We will do it. Uh, Every so often or not, subscribe and thank you. Bye bye. Герои. <laughs>